<laughs> All right, let's talk about, uh, let's start. Local football, of course. And uh, Firat uh, is uh, about to get some, is it two games in March, yes. 25th and 28th? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, against Burundi. Last time Harambe Stars were out was, I think, sometime in November of 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've been on break. And now, of course, at that time, Firat, I think, Alagome Bakisha, two months in his contract, Saime Skuma, had it 2026. Mm. So, uh, let's start with Sula. Sula, what do you think ab about the prospects of um, Harambe Stars going towards, it's Burundi, isn't it? Burundi, yeah. Uh, Burundi's uh, uh, matches. Two things. One, I'm happy that the Stars can finally get to kick the ball, right. at least on the international arena. That's uh, a good step and uh, congratulations to the Federation for organizing that friendly. Yeah. It's a start because our football has been in the wilderness not just at the national level, but also at uh, club level. Mm. So that's a plus. To somebody might ask why Burundi, but they need to understand that to play friendlies, you also need to measure yourself with your contemporaries. How well can I go with Raburu pound to pound? Is he a heavyweight, am I a lightweight? Yeah, so you need to measure that. Mm -hmm. Three, football lovers need to <coughs> understand that even before you get a friendly sanctioned, you have to communicate to FIFA, you have to communicate to the Federation against which team you want to play, in this case, the Burundian FA. Many a times, they again look at what we call FIFA rankings. We've been talking time and again. So today, if Stars wanted to play Cameroon, for instance, or Ghana, for instance, or Senegal, for instance, they're going to look Stars standing that you're way below there. Why should we play them? Does it add any value to us? No. If Stars beat Senegal, what are the implications? We're going to rise 30 positions up. They do not want that kind of a situation. So you find there's a lot of complexities involved in it. Again, these top-ranked teams will ask you, before we come and you feature against us, are you going to pay 10 million <coughs> up front, for instance, or 5 million, depending on the profile of the team? Then if you look at all these factors I'm talking about, you find we are going to play to our league. That's what I'm talking about, the weight category in boxing. So on that, I would say uh, kudos to the Federation. I hope that can be a building stone mm -hmm. after playing Burundi. Can we get wins? The next FIFA calendar, can we up our, 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 our scale and probably feature against a higher ranked team and so on and so forth. However, on the same token, I'm not really impressed. Arocho did say here that Firat is back. But again, the man in which he's been brought back has been shrouded in a lot of mystery, a lot of controversy. There's not a healthy way to go about things. We are all alive to the fact that we paid Amrush over 200 million, a country that its uh, citizenry are uh, struggling to survive on right. two dollars a day, where players have not been paid for ages, where there's a referee's mess, and we know how that ended. Uh, Ambrose contract and Bobby Williamson and so forth. So I want to believe what's being peddled out there is not the ultimate truth. And if it at all, uh, at all Barry Otieno, my good friend, has offered a contract running up to 2026, then that to me is a smoke screen. That mm -hmm. shouldn't be the case. So I want to believe going forward they should operate with short-term contracts with the proper KPIs and they review after every year have you delivered on this mandate. And a proper exit. Um, Absolutely. Um, should it, should it be? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to say something because I have a lot of questions uh, by the time Afirati is coming in March because you've sugarcoat everything and it's very nice. Asule. But for me, my question is how is how did he scout out the players that he's going to work with? Because at the end of it, um, for now, I don't want to see the names that I've been seeing for the first five years mm. on the Harambe Stars, on the Harambe Stars um, list. Yes. Have you ever seen him in any match that he's being played here in Kenya, like in the league, like he's there watching the boys, saying that I want that boy. That is what he's supposed to be, to be doing now, going back to the ground, mm. seeing the boys, how they're playing, not watching the clips and saying, I want him, I want him, I want him. You know, actually, yes, yeah. I want him to be actually there in the ground, Scouting, watching the boys yeah. play, Scouting, he's not being given players, but him himself is supposed to come and scout for players. For me, that is the, uh, the problem I have because <coughs> 
how is he going to get the players that he's supposed to put for the Harambe Stars now? Mm. I don't want to see someone who is above 25 in Harambe Stars mm. come back, scout people who are and between 19 years and 20, 23. Those are the people that you're supposed to build now for Harambe Stars. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And, and coupled with that, I guess, even as you talk about uh, him scouting and uh, his the mystery around his appointment. I wrote one of the accolades, uh, well, if you want to call it that, was that to kiwa na uwi ma tutapata a certain caliber of friendlies. That was one of the things. Though, though for me, those are just, they're neither here or there. Right. Uh, those are just ways of trying to appease. get, uh, to appease mm -hmm. uh, the public. First of all, I'll give um, the Federation kudos. Uh, at least we have started somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in the darkness for almost uh, 13 months, and that one was not positive. Uh, for the country. Uh, we never played any match. So now that we've picked uh, ourselves together and we're having a friend like against Burundi, let's give it to them. At least we are doing something. But I'll, 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 <clears throat> I'll echo uh, Rita's uh, sentiments. Where is he going to get these players that mm -hmm. is going to fail against Burundi? In less than a month. Or in Has he ever been in any uh, Kenya Premier League match? Who are his assistants? You know, and uh, I'll, I'll echo Sula's sentiments. The problem with our federation is transparency. They don't want to come out and tell us what's going on. How did you give him the three years contract? So far, we're only going to play friendlies for the next 11 to 12 months. In this time, why should we be paying him for friendlies? Okay, somebody can argue that the friendlies is what will help us come out of whatever we are, we are going through. Fine, and I'll, I'll, I'll support and respect that. But I've never seen him in any Kenya Premier League match. Yes, somebody might argue that there are local assistants who are doing that, but ultimately is the decision maker. Where is the coach? The coach should be in Nairobi. The coach should be in Mombasa, should be in Webuye, should be in Kitale, should be, you know, the coach should be looking for players. What I don't like about uh, Kenyan football is, the coach comes in, he's given a set of players. Mm. These are the players. That has always been the problem. And that's where Fabish did his job and he did it so well. Fabish picked a player from Ukunda, when he came here the first time. Fabish went to Kwale, Fabish went to Karachonyo, and that's how he succeeded, because nobody picked a player for Fabish. But here is a case, we are one month into a, a, a major friendly match, if I may call it, because we are coming back into mm -hmm. international fall, but the coach is not even there. So who are his assistants, and how are they operating? If you pick an assistant who is currently holding a Kenya Premier League team, how is this coach going to be fair? when he's picking players. Because when a coach is, 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 is coaching his team, he's concentrating in his team. Mm. He'll not, cons for example, if K. Karyubangi Sharks is playing against my team KCB, the K. Karyubangi Sharks coach is concentrating in his, on his team. He's not concentrating on KCB. Mm. So basically we need to get a way we're going to strike a balance where we have a foreign coach, uh, though I didn't like his appointment, he came with a very bad uh, record. Out of 11 matches, Firat had won nothing. Ferrat had picked two draws. Ferrat, Ferrat had lo lost eight matches. So basically, he's coming with a very negative kind of uh, uh, CV. And he's not, even in Nairobi, to assess the current players. So once again, I'm, I don't want to be the devil advocate, but I feel we are planning to fail. Uh, uh, the before, funny part before he speaks uh, is that you've given us even the date that the players are supposed to go for, for what, for, um, for camp, that is on right. 17th March. Mm -hmm. And then the game is being played on 25th and 20, 28th March. Mm -hmm. So you're giving all, all, uh, everything to us, like all the dates and everything, but you're, you're, you're not giving us what, who are the players, who are the technical bench, the way uh, Racho is saying. Um, and I know what um, my friend here is going to say, <laughs> Shitera, is going to say that let's let give us him give him time. Mm -hmm. We'll see what he will do. But the problem is give him time, but give us the transparency. We want to see right. what is happening behind the, behind the doors. Mm -hmm. Shitera, I love, give him time. I, love, I love it that you understand my, man, my mind very well. <laughs> but again, <laughs> for the record, I hate negative energy. <laughs> You know, um, he raised Amrush's issue. Uh, he raised Williamson uh, issue, where we compensated a coach, I think, who we terminated uh, a contract before he had given us what we had agreed. And I think um, what FKF have done, uh, to me, is healthy in football, because the last coach to handle Harambe Stars is Engine Ferrat. 
probably he understands the team better than any other coach you would wish to be appointed. And to me, I think it's a continuation. And uh, in any uh, situation where you are recovering from a surgery, ask any top surgeon uh, in the country. He will tell you that after a delicate operation, you have come out of the theater. You don't go for ugali. <laughs> you will prepare some light soft meal. light meal for you. <laughs> so Burundi is a light. And I think, <laughs> and I think in this situation, let us not burden Harambe stars with very huge expectations. I think we are starting off from a very good point. Let us play uh, Burundi. Then from there, we can graduate uh, gradually uh, to where uh, Kenya was. I'll give you an example of um, Sebastian Minye. He has graduated from Kenya to Cameroon. Uh, that is a steady rise. And Engine Firat coming from Moldova to Kenya, <laughs> I gave the statistics. He won one game. Where? He, he won against Rwanda. No, I'm to all Moldova. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. He won against Rwanda. Okay. He drew against Uganda. So I think those are the latest statistics you should be giving. Forget about Moldova. He graduated from Moldova, which is position, I think, 141, to Kenya, which is, I think, 120 something. You can see he's graduating. And graduating from Moldova, where he uh, drew or he did not have a record of winning, he has a record of a win in Kenya a record of a draw in Kenya. And giving him a continuation, I think, uh, is uh, giving Firat confidence that now you can settle, have a long-term plan. Because he was given a three-month uh, contract. And out of that three- and He was given an internship. An internship. So and out of, <laughs> let me finish, let me finish. Out of that internship, to me, I think Firat got a 70%. That is a B. So let us give him now a job he has been given. Three years, why are you complaining? We need a coach who has a long-term plan for Harambe Stars. Yeah? A coach who has a proper plan for uh, uh, posterity. Let me ask. To me, no. let me, to me ask, uh, there we are not question. arguing. As we are, that, that is OK. My point is now that you like using analogies, if uh, for any, I think everybody here has children. So <laughs> once you see the sign of the, of the pregnancy, right? So you're waiting. We want him to deliver, right? One of the signs of delivering are some sort of some labor pains. Labor pains. The labor pains you're talking about is where is the squad? Where has he? Where okay. Is he? What? Okay. He should show us that he's ready okay. to deliver. Okay. That is what we're talking. About. I will. I will throw. We're not against the okay. guy. Okay. <laughs> I will throw this. I will throw this to. I'll throw this to Barry because. Okay. We really need to see the contents of his contract. That is one. We have not. That seen. is number that one. Is, that's number one. We have that's not. Actually, seen. that's 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 the thrust yes. of this debate. Yes. We yes. fully agree with what you're saying yes we have no qualms with Firat taking over and but the question time. is we have a history and we are saying we threw around 200 million half half half, half, half a million half, 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 half a billion, billion yes uh to Paying. to caucasians let me say that i, I was uh, i was finishing my, I was and finishing we'll my finish point. it i'm saying we threw away around half a billion and this is a league where players have not been paid Big. salaries for 10 months, eight months, where referees have not been paid. Now, guided by that history, a precedent has already been set, and the federation should now be wiser. We have no qualms, even if you don't pick to, to coach the team. So long as we deliver, we have no qualms. I'll deliver. But why, <laughs> why, why give a blanket three-year contract, yes. if at all it is? And what is can, okay. it, can it be one year rolling okay. with let me, add, let me add, let before we move on, let me, let me add to the okay. question. You are, you are adding so that you respond. You are adding too many questions. <laughs> Let me respond to this, and then I'll give you time. Uh, guys, okay, the, point, the point is this. When you join Form 1, you are sure you will uh, graduate to university or college in four years. It's a clear contract mm. that you need to be in high school for four years. It is a clear contract here that this year, Kenya is not participating in any of the qualifiers. Yes. Uh, the, the highest we can reach, at least for this uh, uh, at this time, is the AFCON. Not even when, AFCON. We pray that Sekafa is... Okay, Sekafa is not even sanctioned by FIFA. Leave it. Uh, 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 AFCON, AFCON the, the latest we can play or the earliest we can play is when? In January next. January, yeah. No, the earliest we can play AFCON. No, the, the other AFCON. The other AFCON, yes. yes. Which is how many years from now? About three years. Three years, exactly. That is what 
listen, that is what engine Ferrat has been given to prepare. So why do you mm. want engine Ferrat to be given one year to prepare for what? Uh, no, uh, uh, the one year is for you know set targets. Just like you said, a contract. And you see, wait, and you see, you see that is point. what I said, Mulik, before you cut me short, that is what I said. Uh -huh. The only trouble and the only problem I have <laughs> with the Federation is they have not given us the content of the, the contract. contract. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 I want to add something wait, so that you Because you, you, no, 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 off my you've already uh, um, settled that point. When we paid, um, you are going back, Amruch, wait, period. when we paid Amruch, the first million. time we, we saw the con uh, Amruch's contract is when he went to FIFA. Mm -hmm. That was a mistake. Kenyans need to know how much we are paying our coach. Is there an exit clause? In any case, we are sacking him. Those are the things we need to know. But, listen, but the moment you just do things the way you want. I agree with and you. And when, wait, wait. And you are not telling me the anything consequences new. Of I'm your, agreeing wait, with you. Wait, the consequences of your action. You are just expounding wait, my point. The consequences of your action are laid on Kenyans. Because when FIFA gave Kenyan the, the, the COVID relief money, that was the money that was used to pay Amruj. And that money was supposed to be given to Kenyan players to cushion them against COVID. I'm saying your decisions as a, fed, as a federation, mm -hmm. are your, the consequences of your decisions mm -hmm. come back to us. Back to so when you are employing a coach, you have to give us the, the reasons why you are employing him and his term of reference. Now you've spent okay. four minutes okay. to explain what I said. Well, okay. The only sentences. problem, okay, the only problem, uh, the only problem I have with the federation is that they have not given us the contents of the contract. Awesome. That is okay. exactly what you are saying. Good. But since we do not have the contents, you cannot blame the coach that why hasn't he prepared the team because we have not even seen him signing the contract. So as we speak, Amrusha is the coach by word of mouth. Firat. No, Firat. Uh, I mean, uh, Firat is the coach by word of uh, You see, they have brought in uh, <laughs> the issue. <laughs> and Amrusha right, is guys. a bygone. So, 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 so in my view, <laughs> Let us give the Federation ample time. They are trying to fix what was broken by so many